Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here at the Man Corps. Excited to be with you today, and uh, I do apologize for the delay in videos. Uh, it's been a busy summer so far. I've had a lot of things going on the past uh, two weeks, but uh, again, excited to be with you today. Today's video is going to be around how to develop and the importance of developing a spiritual practice for men. Now, if you are new here, the Main Core is a community that is built specifically for men that are digging to their core to find it out, to find out what it is that they really want, who it is that they really are, and who it is that they really want to become. Please do subscribe to the channel. We cover three topics here at the Main Core: that is masculinity, health, and relationships. Uh, click the bell to be notified for future videos. We are building community and a better future here for men. So again, as I mentioned at the top of the video, uh, today's topic is going to be around the importance, the value, and the reasons why developing a spiritual practice for men is so important. Now, uh, before I delve into this, what I want to make clear is that, you know, a spiritual practice, most people tend to think that spiritual means religious. And while that may be true for some, it's not uh, a one-size-fits-all. So I want you to, you know, not strictly think that this is a, uh, a religious, uh, religiously driven or a religiously uh, purpose-filled video, uh, though it may mean that to you. Um, and if it does, by all means, uh, you know, take that route. But uh, there are some other areas that I want you to e at least consider or look at um, that would we would also uh, consider spiritual. So I would say in the past you know, two months, I have uh, really come to understand and have really tried to build in more time around uh, going to the mental gym. Now, I go to the physical gym all the time, and, you know, I'm, I'm very disciplined. Uh, that's a non-negotiable for me. I'm always uh, very good about going, taking good care of my health. But, uh, you know, just as much as important about my physical health is my mental health. We've talked about, you know, the emotional intelligence, controlling your emotions, understanding your emotions, where they come from, uh, dealing with them, confronting them, moving through them. Uh, I've covered a lot on, you know, on the emotional side of the equation. Um, and we need to understand that that is a part of our health that is just as important as our physical health. Um, it, you know, to be, to be totally honest, we can do all that we can to take care of ourselves physically. But if on the inside, you know, mentally and emotionally, we, we are unhealthy and we haven't um, you know, dealt with or troubleshooted issues, and we all have them, uh, nobody's perfect, nobody's without flaw, uh, then those things can have a detrimental effect, not only to our lifespan, um, to the people and circumstances in our life, and, um, you know, how we view life, how fulfilled we are, um, and the types of relationships that we have. So, um, you know, I, I guess to to be brief, you know, some of the different things that you might consider for spiritual um, again, this is not just religious, but some of the things that you might consider for, for spiritual, they're going to vary for, for everybody. And this is really about developing a, a, a regular practice. Now, if you're regular about going to the gym, you know, we want to think about bringing in one of these uh, items and maybe one of uh, something that, that will come to mind during the video here for you um, and, and continuously doing this uh, in addition to the physical work that we're doing at the gym um, by our mental work. So, this is a, a daily or a regular um, uh, event or sequence or, you know, something, an action that we will do uh, in addition to taking care of our physical health. You know, that could be uh, going to yoga classes. That could be um, developing a, a meditation practice. That could be a, um, you know, listening to a, a series of positive affirmations. That could be writing down positive affirmations. That could be journaling. That could be um, reading. It could be uh, going to the golf course or, or you know, just going to the range, getting out on the water, going and walking uh, around the lake. Um, you know, you could really look at it as like slowing things down and, and really getting in touch with, um, you know, yourself because everywhere we go and a lot of the things that we're surrounded by, it's just... It's just very busy and we don't, we lose touch with who we are, what's important, where we're going and, and, you know, years and, or months and years can go by and pretty soon we wonder, you know, how we got here and how things spun out of control. So it's really just slowing things down and tapping into you. Um, 
you know, another thing that uh, you might consider doing, and it's, it's something that I'm considering doing is, um, you know, the, there's a great, I think I saw that there's, the, there's a great quote or somebody had said at one time that service is the great equalizer and service meaning, you know, being of service. So if that means that you're gonna go, um, you know, donate some of your time or some of your goods or services that, um, you know, goods that you don't use anymore that somebody else could or services, you know, that you could go and, and contribute to somebody of underprivileged or somebody who's underserved. So this can mean a variety of things. It could mean, um, you know, uh, donating some of your time to the soup kitchen to go, uh, you know, feed the poor or um, collecting clothes or, or um, taking clothes that you don't have or that you don't have a need for or don't wear anymore down to the shelter or down to Goodwill. Um, it could be becoming a mentor for a younger, uh, you know, a younger generation. That's the one that appeals most to me. Um, you know, we talk about building a better future for men, and I often wonder if maybe the best way for me to do that uh, is to, you know, serve and be a mentor uh, to somebody, a, a young man in my own community. Um, you know, the the best way to, you know, to really fulfill that mission is to actually do that mission, right? Um, so that's the one that is appealing most to me and, it, and it's one that uh, I want to try and find the right amount of time and, and uh, um, I'm really that that's it you know just finding the right amount of time to be able to 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 be a resource for somebody to be a, a guiding light to be a mentor to be a, um, a source of strength a source of light to a younger man who grew up and who had it you know much worse than I did you know, I have a, a, a very, um, I'm, I'm very grateful for the upbringing that I had. And I, I know that there are some who had it much worse. Um, and, you know, maybe my calling and maybe the thing, the things that I should be doing is by helping the underprivileged kids who have not had that, did not have a mom and dad, did not have a, uh, a married couple, um, or had, people in their lives who took advantage of them or who were abusive, either emotionally or physically or both. Um, so that's the one that appeals most to me. And I think, especially for men, you know, it, it helps get us out of our own heads and it helps get us out of our own need. So uh, when we're going day to day and it's just, you know, going to work eight to five and, um, you know, uh, touching social media and, 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 where am I, what am I getting out of this? How can I be doing better? Um, why am I not getting enough? Why am I not getting promoted? Why is, you know, my wife upset with me or why am I not able to, um, you know, date the kind of person I want? Those are all things that are coming from a place of need and lack. And um, I think by getting outside of ourselves and by ser be be being of service, it really, it does equalize things and helps us understand that we're not alone. So. Um, a couple of things that I thought I'd share with you. Uh, please do like the video, share the video, and um, any comments that you have. Um, I'd appreciate if you'd also share the channel with anybody that would be of value to this channel or would value greatly from our content. We want to build community here, and I would appreciate your help in, in doing that. Um, again, I do appreciate you being with me today, and um, I always love hearing from you, so please do share your comments and of your feedback. I will catch you on the next video, but... Try and develop a spiritual practice. Reach out if there's anything that I can help you out with. Um, I, love, uh, I love hearing from each and every one of the members. So take care, be well, and um, try to be a little bit more spiritual. Thank you, gentlemen. Cheers.